Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 2 4. So, statement is the force applied at the handle of rigid lever cause the lever to rotate clockwise about the pin B through an angle of 2 degree. So, you, you can see this is a rigid handle lever and when it is moved downward or rotated clockwise, it will rotate about point B clear through angle of 2 degree. Determine the average normal strain developed in each wire. These wires are unstretch when lever is in horizontal position so you can see this is wire gc fd and ah they are unstretched when this lever when this lever is in horizontal position so you have to find you have to find strain in each wire it means that you have to find the strain in ah you have to find strain in GC you have to find strain in FD so let's start solving this problem so as this uh, lever is rotated clockwise about point B so it will look like this this AH will move a bit upward so I will draw it you can see this AH will move upward so from here from here to here this distance will be traveled by this wire is delta A clear as C will move downward so from this point to this point from this point to this point this will be equal to delta C and from D to this point this will move downward and this will be equal to delta D clear and this angle through which this lever move is 2 degree so the lever arm rotate through degree so we will convert into two uh, into radian this 2 degree into radian as we know that uh, 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree so again pi radian is equal to 180 degree so if I divide 180 on both side I will get 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radian since it is given 2 degree so when we multiply 2 on both sides so 2 degree will be equal to 2 multiply by pi divided by 180 radian and this 2 degree will be equal to 0 0.03491 radian now we have this radian as this theta 2 degree is very very small so you can see we can use this equation s is equal to r theta in order to find this distance so for uh, this we will find delta a and delta a will be equal to r is uh, uh, theta is uh, radian which is equal to uh, 0 0.03491 and r is equal to this 200 millimeter 200 millimeter so when you multiply it you will get delta a is equal to 6.9813 millimeter similarly you can find this delta c and this delta C will be equal to R theta. So theta is equal to 0 0.03491 radian. And this R is equal to 300 millimeter. So you can see this is 300 millimeter. So we will get 10.472 millimeter. And for finding this theta delta D. So this delta D is equal to R theta, theta is 0 0.03491 and this R is total now 500 because this 300 plus 200 is 500. So when you solve this you will get 17.453 millimeter. 
now we have this change in length in wire AH, delta C is change in length of wire GC and delta D is change in length of wire FD. So we will find the uh, strain in this. As it is also given that these wires are unstretched while the lever is horizontal clear. So their original length are given. This is 300, 200 and this is 200. So what we will do is that we will find the strain in wire AH which is equal to change in length. So change in length is 6.981 clear. 6.981 3 divided by original length is 200 clear so when you calculate it it will be equal to 0 0.0349 millimeter per millimeter so again it, it is dimensionless quantity now we will find the strain in GC so strain in GC is equal to strain uh, change in length of GC which is equal to 10. 472 divided by original length is 200 clear uh, GC original length is uh, sorry original length is 300 this 200 is distance in between these two so GC and FD are same length so this is 300 so when you calculate it it will be equal to 0 0.0349 now we will find the strain in uh, wire DF or FD so it will be equal to strain in uh, change in length of wire FD which is 17.45 divided by original length of the wire DF is 300 when you calculate it you will get 0 0.0582 so this is the answer of first second and third part again this was a very easy problem and similarly you can solve such type of problem very easily if you have a clear understanding i hope it is clear to you now thank you for watching